Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make this lovely wedding frame which can be used at a wedding for decoration or as a personalised gift. Please do like and subscribe and ensure notifications are set for more Cricut hints, tutorials and tips. So you need to search for the images, so choose a bride and groom and then some 3D flowers. So you need to resize the flower. I find anything under sort of eight centimeters is good for the printing and cutting. Um, you can make it a bit smaller. Um, don't worry about the positioning in Cricut Design Space of where you put everything. We'll separate them when we're printing. For this, I'm going to use 34 flowers, but dependent upon size and how closely you space them, that will vary. You can see that they're separated into two different pages, but for the flowers, I like to try and fit as many onto a single sheet as possible just to save the paper. So here I'm just moving some from one page to another just to fit them and move them around. Next, I've added a square, which is the same size as the inside of my frame. I would always suggest a few uh, millimeters bigger as you can then trim it later. So I've selected heavy cardstock and also I'm going to select the more button as I do find with heavy cardstock sometimes it doesn't always cut through without you selecting the more. Now everything's printed. To create the flower first take the card and using a Cricut tool get as close to the end of the 3D flower as possible. Make sure the colour is facing up so that when you've actually made the flower the colour is going to be on the outside. Right, now you've got your Cricut tool in place, just begin to roll the card around. The important thing here is to make sure that the inner edge remains flat at the bottom so as you're rolling it all around, it stays in line. You can see here, once it is started, you can just use your hands to continue rolling it. Now you can see the completed flower, but just before we finish, we need to glue the bottom together to stop it unwinding. So if you save the last two petals for the glue, the second to last one, glue it to the bottom of the flower and the last to the side. Here I've stuck the bride and groom to my card. I've just added a few pearls as a necklace, which these are great, which I get from Hodbury Craft. Now it's time to start gluing the flowers on. Just a little dab of glue on each one is sufficient and it's best to start at the top. As you will see later, there's overlapping at the bottom, but that isn't a problem. We'll fast forward this bit, but as you can see, I continue to wipe any stray strands of glue. On that, if you have any recommendations for a glue gun, I would like another, so please leave any recommendations below for me. As you can see at the bottom, the flowers are overlapping the vinyl a little, but it isn't a problem as it gives the illusion of a flowing dress. I also like to leave the end closest to the groom at an angle. As a finishing touch, I will add some more diamantes to some of the flowers to give it an extra sparkle. Now we've completed that, remove any excess glue strands and we are ready to put it in our frame. Putting it into the frame here, you can see a little bit too big, so I'll trim the edges just a little bit. Always use a steel ruler, as it prevents a knife blade catching on the ruler itself, which you can do on plastic rulers, and ends up snagging your work. And remember to change your knife blade frequently, so it's nice and sharp. I've just got to trim mine again here. It's always better to cut off little bits rather than ruin it at this stage. Perfect, that's a better fit. So remove the last little bits of glue residue and pop it into the frame. I hope this has been helpful to you. Please do like and subscribe and ensure notifications are set for more Cricut hints, tutorials and tips.
Many thanks. Bye-bye.